What's up, YouTube? We got another yo yo to review today. This is the One Drop X and whatever Static Unresponsives Parlay. So, uh, this is not my yo yo. This was, uh, th yeah. I borrowed this from the wonderful Nate from Nate Reviews Yo Yo's. And, uh, this is Nate. So, this is the same one Nate reviewed. Um, when Nate sent it to me, he he put in, and I still have Nate's uh, brass caps, and uh, he had a uh, center track bearing in there. Um, but I stuck it back to what it would have shipped as with a flat bearing and with these caps to kind of give it the straight review. Um, so uh, this is a collaboration between One Drop and Static Unresponsives. Uh, this is the parlay. It came out a few months ago. Uh, I've I've said often that smaller and uh, like organic yo-yos aren't necessarily my thing um but i have reviewed uh a couple of them uh i've reviewed the uh well i guess one i reviewed the uh, peak two a couple of weeks ago or a couple maybe a couple months ago i guess it was in june yeah i reviewed the peak two in june a couple of months ago and uh i like that okay um but well i didn't you know i didn't get one uh, i also didn't get this this is uh this is nate's um but and I, I do have to give it back to Nate because he really likes it. But uh, let's uh, let's get into the specs of it and we'll discuss the yo-yo a little bit. So the base weight is uh, fifty-eight point seven grams, but it is sixty-two grams uh, set up with the aluminum flat caps, which is what I have in it here. Uh, it is forty point three millimeters wide and it has a fifty-three point six millimeter diameter. Uh, comes standard with the uh, flow groove response pads and uh, it's four point three two uh, millimeters of gap width. And uh, comes with the one drop 10 ball bearing, uh, pure matte finish, and uh, side effects. Um, so something I like about this yo-yo particularly, and I like it about a lot of one drops, but I feel like smaller stuff particularly, I think this the they really benefit from the side effects. Uh, it absolutely played better the way Nate sent it to me with the flat cap or with the uh, brass caps in the middle to kind of give it a little bit of extra weight. It kind of really not that it's not that it's not stable for a yo-yo of this size, but it really kind of upped the stability. That and the center track bearing really made it play um, very much like a more modern yo-yo. Um, putting it back to the flat uh, bearing and the lighter side effects, um, it's a little bit unstable, but it's not terribly unstable. Uh, I mean, I think it has a lot, the the walls are high, but it's got a schmoove groove, schmoove groove in there. When I take it apart, I'll show you that. Um, it's actually a lot more stable than I initially anticipated. Usually these kind of yo-yos tilt all over because it's small and, you know, kind of light. Usually they tilt all over the place on me. Um, but this one doesn't really do that. Uh, so I was pleasantly surprised by that. Uh, I could definitely handle all my tricks. The only really thing for me was that because I'm used to playing wider yo-yos, uh, I didn't hit tricks as easily or as often. But that's really more on me than it is on the yo-yo. Like, the yo-yo is surprisingly modern playing uh for as old school as it looks and feels uh in your hand so um you know one drop kind of makes magic with everything um but i am not i they really kind of like they took something that i personally like I, it's not this yo-yo it personally i'm not a fan of these kinds of yo-yos but this one really i like um it's you know as far as this stuff's concerned this is probably i i think i enjoy this more than the peak two um, I think the side effects have a lot to do with that. The fact that I could, you know, edit it up a little bit to sort of make it a little more stable, maybe a little longer spinning, uh, or just change it if I got bored with it. Um, I don't necessarily find these shapes particularly interesting, but I think side effects make everything just a little more interesting because you can always switch it up, uh, which I like. Um, so uh, I would say of the small organic yo-yos that have all been kind of pu being pumped out recently, uh, this one's probably my favorite. Um, but, uh, you know, it's not surprising that a one-drop yo-yo uh, is my favorite. So, uh, but for me, uh, you know, I think one-drop really did a nice job on this. And there's a lot of people that really, really like this yo-yo particularly and really like the smaller organic yo-yos um, kind of get that sort of play a little bit more modern. And I think one-drop really nailed what they were trying to do with this uh, one-drop and static unresponsive. So uh, I think they really did a nice job with this yo-yo. But let's throw it around a little bit. I'll show you guys what it can do. All right, guys, we are back with the one drop and static unresponsives parlay. So, uh, it's definitely a lot more stable than I thought it was going to be. 
uh, doesn't really turn on me at all. Uh, because it's so light, it doesn't spin as long. So as the spin starts to die, it does start to turn a little bit. But when I put the flat, when I put the aluminum caps in it, and the way it came, the way Nate had it set up uh, with the aluminum flat or the uh, brass, um, excuse me, the brass flat caps in it, gave it a little bit more weight, gave it more spin time, and that problem was pretty much gone. Uh, I also think the addition of the center track bearing really helped facilitate that as well. But just the way it would come stock out of the box is actually like. It's really nice. I miss that because I'm not used to uh, I'm not used to yo-yos that are this uh, narrow in diameter. But that's on me, not on the yo-yo. The yo-yo itself is great, as you can see. Grinds very well. Um, if you like the uh, Pyramat finish for grinds, uh, you'll like this. It grinds great. Um, definitely cool in that regard. Uh, it does have quite a bit of rim weight, so it feels very modern when you throw it, just because of the way the weight distribution is set up. There, is, there are kind of thick rims on it, as you can see there. Um, so, very cool in that regard. Uh, like I said, really, my only complaint with it is that it's not what I'm used to, and that's not a complaint on the yo-yo, that's really on me. Um, but, you know, small size makes it easy to do, like, chopsticky type tricks. Um, very like deliberate i guess is the best way to put it and uh very cool for that still pretty decent spin time just out of the box even despite how light it is um and it's not set up for competition or anything like that so you know this isn't a competition yo-yo and you have to kind of approach it like that but it is a really good performer and it's really kind of very fun as well like once you start throwing it it's like oh man i'm having a good time with it and once you kind of get used to it um, so, you know, if this is your thing, like, these, this will be right up your alley. Like, this is a really good one. Thumb grind lip is great. Very, very easy. Uh, it's a little smaller, so if you're, like, trying to catch it and hit it, um, there's other things to hit, but once you get it, I mean, you get great thumb grinds on it. Uh, not really enough room to finger spin around the, around, yeah, like, it's, it just doesn't work out so good as far as finger spins are concerned. Um, but it certainly wasn't designed to, so I, that's, not a that's not a knock on the yo-yo just telling you it can't um the schmoove groove helps keep the uh helps keep the uh, loops open for your suicides um that's kind of an old school sort of trick for them uh and i think it's pretty cool but uh yeah man i mean i really this thing's really a lot of fun and once you stare it's one of those areas that like I look at them like, oh, I don't know. But once you start playing with it, it's like, oh, man, this is really cool. Like, it's I'm not having any trouble throwing it and playing with it. And it's just it's just a neat yo-yo. Uh, also, huge thanks to Nate for uh, sending it hooked up with a zipline string. Because, um, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's the way, man. But uh, anyway... So uh, let's take it apart. I'll show you guys what the guts are. I'll show you what the schmoove groove is. Schmoove groove. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and, uh, you know, give you the pros and cons. All right, guys. We are back on the desk with the one drop and static unresponsives parlay. So um, let's uh, let's take it apart. I'll show you I'll show you what the guts look like. Uh, this is how Nate, what Nate had it set up with. There's the center track bearing there and uh, some brass flat caps. Uh, those definitely add a little bit of weight to the center and kind of give it a little more stability plus you know keeping the string centered with center track bearing uh adds to that as well so uh you know you can if if you're not if it's not playing quite up to your standard the ability to edit it with uh with the, edit the play a little bit with the uh side effects really i think uh you know more than a lot of other yo-yos i think is really very beneficial on this one um got a little groove in there is the schmoove groove uh, definitely cool. Kind of, kind of gives it that little bit of a modern play. It kind of gives it that little step up uh, at the gap there without actually widening the gap, which is kind of cool and definitely neat. Um, it's got the standard one drop, uh, one drop uh, response pads in it. The flow groove, great response pad. You know, no complaints from me or anybody really. That's a, it's that's the perfect response pad. Uh, you know, flat bearing, one drop ten ball. Uh, Groove on this side too. Side effect system, uh, you know, excellent. I uh, I love 
the way one drop machines yo yo's i love the side effect system I, I just think one drop does such a good job with everything that even if it's a yo yo that's not necessarily like a shape or type of size that i like personally it's still a great yo yo so it's still like you play it and you're like man this is still a really fun yo yo and i think everything that comes out of one drop is really fun and this is certainly no exception uh, so let's do pros and cons uh so pros clearly side effects huge pro uh the uh Pyramid finish is uh, very durable, which is excellent, um, and looks great too. I, I think they get these really deep colors out of it, uh, these like deep greens and stuff, and and really only one drop kind of gets these, and they really nail the solid colors. Their splashes are great too, but the solid colors are like just you know really good, and this is no exception there. Um, it's it, it's kind of an old school. It's very much an old school shape, but it absolutely plays modern, uh, which. You know, I really think One Drop does a really, really good job getting, d did a really good job, and, and Static Unresponsive just getting a modern play out of a very old school shape. Um, just, it's it's fun. It's a lot of fun to play. And, you know, I say that about every One Drop yo-yo, but this one's just like, I mean, they were shooting for fun, and they nailed it. Fun. Fun yo-yo. Um, and, uh, you know, other, other pros... Stable for as small as it is, uh, this is the most stable yo-yo of this size I've ever played. Absolutely, uh, it gets even more stable when you change uh, side effects, and it just plays great. And um, I just don't have a whole lot of bad things to say about it. As far as you know, cons are concerned, it's it's definitely undersized. So if you're more of a modern, you know, large yo-yo player, uh, this is going to take some getting used to. Um, doesn't spin as long because of how light it is. Again, the side effects correct that a little bit, but out of the box, spin times are average low, but you can kind of get them back into average size, uh, you know, spin times by changing out side effects again. So the pro of the side effect is really, really, it shines on this yo-yo because it's fun out of the box and old school type players are really going to love it just straight out of the box, the way it comes. But if you want to give it a little bit more modern performance, change the side effect and maybe put a more centering bearing in there, whatever you, you like the best. And, uh, you know, that'll, that'll up its game even more. So definitely a cool yo-yo and at only 70 bucks, I mean, for a yo-yo machined in America, I mean, you just don't see that stuff anymore. So, uh, it starts at 70 bucks, comes in a ton of great colors. Uh, you know, the undersized O-shaped yo-yos aren't necessarily my thing, but as far as undersized O-shaped yo-yos go, this is probably the most fun one I've played, and I think One Drop really nailed it here. One Drop and Static Unresponsive. So uh, I definitely enjoy it. I like the stability. Uh, I like just side effects. I like everything that they've done with it here. I like the price. I just, it's, One Drop puts together a great package, and this is absolutely no exception. So uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Tell me down in the comments, what do you think? Do you have one? It's been out a little while. Sorry it took me so long to get to this one to review, but, uh, I think it's fun, and I've been having fun with it. So, uh, Nate, you may have just cost me money because I may have to go buy my own now. But, uh, you know, tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. Uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Cheers to you. And I'll see you next time.